Hey everyone, I'm back and today's video is going to be so much fun. We can use the leaves in our garden, on the lawns, in our backyards to create something beautiful like this amazing sweater. This is so fantastically easy. You can make so many different designs and give them away as gifts. Trust me, you're going to be hooked as soon as we try out our bleached leaf design. For your design, you want to include some cardboard inside the sweater to protect the back side. Now, with a paintbrush and a little container of bleach, I'm going to start to paint our leaves. Now, you can use a bunch of different leaves. I'm using some big maple leaves here because that's what I have on hand. Feel free to mix the different types of leaves, maple, oak, chestnut, I'm sure it would look fantastic. Now generously spread some bleach all over your leaf, press it down on the sweater and I'm using a little piece of paper towel to make sure I get it pressed really nicely onto the sweater without leaving any fingerprints of bleach. Go ahead and slowly work on your design. Overlapping the leaves will make things look very interesting. Don't forget, you can also work on the top side of your sweater as well. Here I'm doing a bit of a diagonal pattern. So across the length of the shirt, I am going to be putting leaves and slowly have them meet in the middle. Also, don't forget, you can go across the sleeves as well, which would actually be pretty interesting if you think about it. So here we go, let's go down the leaf as well, some cascading falling leaves from fall it's really starting to come together. Now, the longer that you leave your leaf <laughs> stuck to the sweater, the more intense the bleach will come out. Also, the longer that you work on your sweater without rinsing it, the more intense the bleach spots will be. Now, as a little bit of extra interest, I'm taking some bleach on my paintbrush and just splattering it across. I don't know, I have always been in love with a bleach splatter. I can't help myself, it's so cute. Now once you're done, make sure you rinse it really well in some cold water before you let it dry. And once you're done with that, you can then put it in the machine to wash. I like to rinse this out first because look at the color of the water. It has turned so yellow with all of that bleach and I do not want that on the rest of my clothes. <laughs> Once you're done, take your sweater out and it should look something like this. Isn't this fantastic? It looks like it belongs on my front lawn. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to wear this or give it away as a gift. You'll never know. Thank you so much for watching our amazing sweater design. I hope you try it out at home, get creative with a bunch of different stencils, and just have fun. Remember to wear gloves and be safe. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye.